we're doing another film. Maybe get it up there for YouTube. And uh, my goodness sakes, this silly thing. These programs just keep fighting us, don't they? My goodness, they, man, this, these things are pretty slow and don't have the memory. But, hey, we're doing our best from my own home. May the Lord bless all of you. May he watch over your families, your homes, your children, your job. Boy, we all need to. All the help we can get, you know what I mean? Whoo, wave all this stuff going on, this new election coming up. My goodness, the, what, what people are out there trying to prophesy. And, whew, ah, we need the best outcome, that's for sure. We need some of this stuff turned around. And uh, it, Lord, it's in your hands. There we go. Uh, I think I gave you last time Matthew chapter 10. And I, I tried to give you a little bit of insight there, as well as what's already in that Bible, uh, of what the Lord Jesus gave of the insight of uh, how it would be more tolerable uh, in the lands of Sodom and Gomorrah. Key issues on, on how things are going to happen all the way to the very, very end. In him preserving the final remnant and how he's going to hide them. They're not going to find those people, guys. They're not going to find them. Oh, they're going to see his fire. <laughs> oh, they're going to see his fire and those angels will be helping them get, get on up out of there and, 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 and don't even go back for a coat. And all of this uh, people out there in ministries are, was worried. It's always been worried. You know, do we give any of this out because we don't want anybody chasing down the royal people? Well, the, the angels is going to protect them, and they ain't going to know what's even hit them or what's going on. Uh, and and there's no way because the angels of the Lord will be protecting them. Not one hair shall be harmed. Uh, they're going to walk through the fire and not be burnt, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, if they're going to do that. Uh, and the final preserving of the final, final remnant of his royal people that's been scattered all the way throughout the world and bringing them all back in of all nations, of all languages and tongues. They really, he really did scatter all those people. My goodness, he did. And then they want to fight over who are the people and who's royalty and who ain't. And my goodness, there's no going to be no Jew and Greek in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> ain't going to be none of that. And all these language barriers and all this other stuff, you know, it'll all be one. <laughs> oh, my word, my word. Let's see. I don't know. I, yeah, I gave you Matthew chapter 10 in that, 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 that last one I tried to do. And Sorry about some of these other families. The quality wasn't the best, but. We're trying to get this stuff worked out. How in the world do we do this? You know, and uh, when we don't have all that staffing and people to help us out, we're doing this from our own homes and trying to help people out there out. So I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of Matthew chapter 11 because it's got some more insight of what the Lord Jesus said. And uh, it, it, all of these are beautiful chapters to bring, but we could relate it in so many different things. And uh, especially even into the end times. And uh, but I wanted to bring you back down in here to uh, uh, about halfway through this chapter, I guess it is, because the Lord Jesus started talking about some other stuff in key insights of the end times, and he was he gave them the signs. He really did. He was he he gave, but he you know he gave everything leading up to that, and it's this 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 resurrections that everybody's waiting for. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea when he's going to stand in those clouds and say, Come up hither, for I found thy name. Come out of her, my people, that ye be ye not partaker of her plagues to come. Whoo, them plagues are going to be poured out, even by those prophets. My word, and they fight over who they are. They'll never learn, but anyway, you know, everybody says, Well, I think that's who it is, but uh, we've given films and films and teaching the scriptures and scriptures and to show the people who it's going to be. But it won't matter, you know, doggone it. You know, the thing about it is they're going to be pouring out those plagues. They're going to be wearing sackcloth and ashes. Uh, you sinned, people. You sinned. Uh, this is not what God told Moses. This is what Moses warned you about. This is what the prophets warned you about. And look, and look at what you've all done. Get calling this man on the throne of God and, and, and saying your God walks among you. Oh, you people, you sinned. Oh, and this world's going to pay for this. Yes, it will. All these things are coming. And everything is, is setting it all up. Every bit of this is setting everything up. They all want to blame it on the seed of Ishmael. Uh, as if they're going to set upon the throne of David ruling over all of the nations. They, they don't want to blame it on the, on the seed of Esau. You know, somebody of Esau. Because of all the things they see going on in the world and the history of Esau. They, they will say, oh, he's got to be maybe of a Philistine uh, that will take the throne of David and, and they'll set a crown upon it. No, no, there ain't no way. 
And the, the promise was never given unto, 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 unto Lot and his generations, even though Lot's, Lot's generations and people and, and, and came in and, and they had power over, over the land in their own time frame. And then he was taken away. You see, all those kings had their own turns and all their own turns and times. And, and my goodness sakes, they, they want to blame it all on Rome, right? Well, they are an antichrist way, especially the Pope of Rome. When he wants to approve the things that God says in abomination, yeah, they're an antichrist all the way. But what if they said a Hebrew who's turned over into the Catholic faith upon the Pope of Rome, upon the seven mountains, and he becomes the false prophet of this man coming into play? Mm-hmm. You see, you ain't the people ain't thought about stuff like that, but maybe you will. You know, hey, who knows? who this false prophet's going to be to be helping this man who stands upon his feet. They're going to kill him, people. We done gave you scriptures that they're going to kill him with a sword. And then the spirit of Satan going to enter him. Uh-huh. Setting him upon the throne of David. That royal decree wasn't given to anybody else. It was given unto David, whether he had good kings or bad kings. We gave him a whole bunch of this and all these other things, but these preachers won't listen. They said, well, I've done all these thousands and thousands of hours of study, and it's got to be somebody of the seed of Ishmael when they overtake the Jerusalem and overrun it and all this power and knocking everything down, and then they're going to set this fellow up as a king and proclaim their God walks among them. Nope, the Lord, the Lord God is not going to allow this. You blind guides. That royal decree was given unto King David. This man will be able to prove his DNA, people. I've done told you this. They got that crown and they got that scepter and they got the king's ring and the seal of King David. They're not going to hand that somebody over of Ishmael and hand the, king, the seal of David unto them and, and proclaim him a king. They ain't going to set that, give that ring to anybody they have waiting over there for their Messiah to come. They ain't going to give that scepter and that golden crown and all that other stuff unto somebody of the seed of Ishmael. You've lost your cotton pit in mind, preachers, and you, 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 you're just as blind as the Sadducees and Pharisees and scribes and all of them. You're just as blind. you got some good stuff you're giving out there. Hey, if things are this, this fixing to come. But you ain't seeing the final end and who it's really going to be and who it's going to be off. And we, they had no idea where the Lord was going to preserve all these people and how in the final tribulation when it comes. <laughs> they had no idea until we gave it up. But it's amazing how some of these renowned people, ministers all over TV are starting to put some of this in with their presentations. But then they're not willing to stick around and listen to us. They couldn't figure out the most perfect snare and trap if they tried. No, no, they're too blamey, busy blaming it on all these other things that they see and what, what stands out unto them. There's nothing we can do. But hey, they're, given, they're not deliberately deceiving the people. No, there's a difference in, in deliberately lying to the people and, deliber and someone just giving it by the way he believes and sees. You see, they're not deliberately deceiving anyone. That's just what they fully believe. Christ said, blessed is he who has seen and believes and yet he's not seen. Oh my goodness, we can give all kinds of just keep right on and going. But I wanted to kind of get you into this uh, Matthew chapter 11, you know, and try these, these computers out and see which one's going to end up being the best. I don't know. Let's see what happened, for crying out loud. He's giving out some more key insights. You know, and he, he's talking about, oh, my goodness. Oh, he had already, this, my goodness, where do you start? He already talked about John the Baptist. He is your Elias. If you, we receive it, head low. John said, I, I'm not the Messiah. You know, when they're all asking him, you know, are you the Messiah? Are you the one we're looking for? And he said, no, I'm the one preparing the way. Uh -uh. I am not the Messiah. Hey, he, 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 the Lamb of Almighty God, he said, there, there he is. <laughs> he said, it's not me. Hello. Oh, my goodness. He begins telling this right there in there. Uh, up there in, you know, verses 10, 11, 12, 13, all in there, 14. He that hath any ears, let him hear. Who, and he said, we're into a side like in this generation. My word, my word. Look at all the preachers we got today and, and, and how they mixed all this stuff up. Well, they're just doing what they do by what they see. 
blaming all this stuff on the seed of Ishmael because well they're going they've been scattered all the way around the world and they're coming against all of our nations with the numbers of the people. And here they go. They're coming to overtake. Yeah, there we go. Setting everything all up. They're gonna play their role. But they're not the man. <laughs> they're not the man, people. No, no. The Lord ain't gonna hand that throne over of the of the of the the, the, the of Israel unto somebody who's not of David, because that's what they wait for. They had a low. They wait for someone to die of the seed of David. They wouldn't accept the Lord Jesus Christ. So now let's give them a man, so so will the Lord, in which they will. You preachers couldn't figure out the most perfect snare and trap if you tried. I don't care if you got 10 million views, views and you've flown over to Israel a thousand times. I just, I just don't care, buddy, bro. Hey, did the word of the Lord come unto the lifted up and the lifted up in the highly esteemed? Well, we got some scriptures right up in here. And we had some scriptures in the last chapter. The Lord said he'd hide wisdom and knowledge from them. And he had done thus. Oh, my goodness sakes. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, verse 20, then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of the, his mighty works were done because they re repented not. You see, there's a lot of places he didn't go. They weren't willing to repent and they weren't willing to believe him anyway if he went of who he was. But watch verse 21. Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon. Hello, what's he saying? At the day of judgment than for you. Oh, he told those scribes and Pharisees and Sadducees and all of them who thought they was the scholars of the law. Oh, my goodness, they sent the scholars out against Jeremiah. And it wasn't the scholars that was right. It all plays a role in the very end. The scholars who believe without a doubt in their mind and in their heart of who they believe this fellow's going to be and where he's going to come from. <laughs> well, when they're all looking the other way, kaboom! Setting the most perfect snare and trap. Now, oh, you people, you preachers, you wouldn't listen to somebody. No, you got so many people following you into the millions. Oh, I guess they're donating unto you, big boy. Mm -hmm. And messy. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The Lord said it even fooled the very elect <laughs> and all this stuff. And it has. Oh, my guns. But they're, hey. But I say unto you, it should be more tolerable for Tyria. Tyria and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. Hey, when the, the Romans came down in 70 AD, thousands and thousands fleed unto Tyre and Sidon because the Romans was there to plow it down. Yep. They did. Some of them went, even went over there into Jordan. Hello. Even back then. So, and thou Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven, shalt thou be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained unto this day. But I say unto you, watch again the verification of what we gave in Matthew chapter 10, people and you preachers. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. You paid attention to all those things that's going to be poured out into the plagues upon Israel and the world. You people are think, seem to think it's only going to happen over there in Israel. you got another thing coming. Oh, man, because this world is setting everything up. And at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank the old Father of heaven 
of earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and the prudent, and has revealed it unto the babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Isn't it amazing what the Lord has hid right there in his own word when he gave some key things out, even for the end times? He done his best to warn them, and it took all these thousands of years to bring things to pass. But every last thing that's been written, it will and it shall come to pass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, I pray you get something out of these films. May God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Amen.